hello welcome to another video in this video we will talk about the logical error so first we will understand that what is logical error and then we will move to the practical session and I will show you uh, that in which way the logical error can happen okay now in this slide you can see in the first point that logic error occur when a program does not perform the way it was intended to what does it actually mean it means for example uh, there is a temperature in Celsius degree and if you want to change it to Fahrenheit degree but you are not getting the actual output you are getting another output or erroneous output that means that it is not giving this uh, intended output so there is a problem then we can say uh, that if there is no syntax error and uh, no runtime error that means there is a problem in the logic in the program okay so logical error also known as the semantic error and occur when there is a mistake in the algorithm so it means there is a problem in your algorithm itself or the formula that you are trying to implement that is the problematic or it can happen the overall program structure uh, there is a problem and which is actually leading to the unexpected behavior so unlike the syntax error or runtime error logical error do not generate any message or uh, and the program can still run without crashing so you already know that in case of compilation error uh, you will get the uh, error list at the time of compilation as well as if there will be any runtime error you will get the error list at the point of runtime but if there will be any logic error the program will still run successfully but it will give you the erroneous output which is not correct okay so same way in this particular logic error that I have um, given the example for the temperature if it is giving the different output other than intended then it we can say that it is a logic error however the output of the result produced by the program is incorrect the, so this point you have to remember that if there is a logical error then the output of the program will be incorrect now let's try to understand um, this uh, one example with one example then it will be easier for you to understand okay as you can see that uh, we have a program and we are trying to convert 35 celsius to fahrenheit degree so if we'll compile it and if you'll we'll run it then you will get one output okay so and as you can see that it is uh, saying that tool completed successfully and if you will run it you will get one output so 35 celsius 35 is fahrenheit degree 67 so which is a incorrect result okay because because uh, here in this section you can see that this portion this uh, in this place there is a problem in our logic because we are dividing 9 by 5 which is a integer division but it will produce only integer not any decimal point so that's the reason it is giving the erroneous output so if we'll give here the decimal point like 9.0 and divided by 5 then it will produce the correct result okay so if we'll compile it again and if you'll run then you will get the correct result that is 95.0 so if we'll uh, convert 35 celsius it will be 95 uh, fahrenheit so this one is the correct result okay so we have to remember that so uh, if there will be any kind of operations which i want result as a uh, floating point number or decimal number then i have to do like operation this way now let's try to uh, understand with one another example as you can see that we have a program and we are uh, trying to average three number here we have a number one number two and number three and we have taken a average uh, variable and there we are trying to average plus 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 and we are dividing it by two so but our number is three right so if we'll try to compile it you will know get no error as well as if you'll run it you will get the result but the result is not correct why because we are dividing it by two 
instead of dividing 3 we are dividing 2 so there is a problem it means we have logically done some mistake it should be 3 so if we we'll give here 3 then the output will be correct okay so previously there was a error uh, in our logic okay so that's why we caught the uh, erroneous output now if we'll try to get the output now it's correct so this way if you have a problem in your logic then you have to check your program and you have to identify where the problem is actually happening and then there you have to go and you have to fix because this is the challenging part of the logical error you have to find out the error by yourself by analyzing the code because you will not get any kind of syntax error or any kind of runtime error and you will not get you will not get any kind of suggestion that's why the debugging of the program is very much important so i hope it's clear that what is logical error and you understood that how to identify them so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye